Good morning. It's good to see everybody again today. Uh, here we go for another week. Um, but it is a pleasure to get to be in the house of the Lord this morning, playing and bringing glory and honor to His name. I started it out a little different this morning. Um, we've done a lot of really heavy music for the last few weeks because leading up to Easter and then with Easter last Sunday. So today we're going to do it a little more lighthearted. One of the main things that I was wanting to do for this week's program was songs out of what I refer to as the Church of God convention books, which if you're very familiar with the Church of God at all, we they would post, uh, they would publish a new book every uh, couple of years or so that had a lot of all new choir songs in it. And these were very popular for many, many years. They don't print them now. Um, but every time that I play one, so many people comment, say, oh, those were my favorites. I wish that uh, our churches still sang those. So I did ask for some requests. I got a few and then I've added a few of my own. So today is just a day to sit back and have some fun with the music. It's all very lighthearted stuff. It's very toe tapping, hand clapping. If you're not used to clapping hands to the music in church, today's your day because you're at your own church in your own home. So nobody's going to hear if you're off beat. Uh, in the Church of God, we learn to clap at a very early age, so today's a good day for you to practice. Uh, first up, we're going to do one that was written back in 1954. It's I'm Too Near Home. short. I'm only playing like a verse and a chorus of them uh, just so I could get several in. Uh, next up is another very old one and if you listen to Southern Gospel Quartets especially I remember the Happy Goodmans doing this one a lot but it's a wonderful song called What a Lovely Name.
this one was requested. It's I Wouldn't Miss It For The World. sang it many, many times, and I know they talk about with the uh, praise choruses and stuff that we do nowadays a lot, a lot of times you sing them over and over and over. Well, I remember so well that when the choir would start to sing this one in particular, that the Lord would start blessing, and we would just sing it over and over and over, but God was moving so strongly in the services. And it's, I still believe there's power in the blood. And I do still believe that today. And I hope you do too. And we always mix it with a little bit of the chorus from There's Power in the Blood. So enjoy. <laughs> songs. Many of you are very, very familiar with what we call the red back hymnal. Now today I've got a green one with me, but uh, we love those songs and so many different people still sing those today. And one of those that I like to throw in every once in a while is, I want to know more about my Lord. So enjoy.
administrative bishop in the Church of God, Reverend Tim Hill. He's a very famous man, uh, famous for his preaching, his leadership. Um, he was just recently appointed to one of President Donald Trump's administrative councils. Uh, but he's also a tremendous singer and songwriter, and he wrote several of the songs that are in the convention books. So I want to play one of them for you now. Hopefully he'll hear that it's on here. The church moves on. special request from a dear friend of mine, Tanya Langford. Here's your song, I Will Leave It All Behind. singing these songs, they have uh, so many different parts going on all at the same time, especially in the chorus. And I always remember that the alto usually has the lead on so many of the choruses, and they could really, really bring it out and sing strong. Uh, next, next up is another good one. It's called, I Want the Light from the Lighthouse to Shine on Me. Kelly Turner, this one's for you.
was a little bit shorter today. Uh, next up, another one, singing about the Holy Ghost. You'll praise the Lord. slower. Uh, yeah, Church of God likes everything fast, it seems. Uh, but I am free. And I hope that you are free today. I hope that you have Jesus Christ in your life and that you are forgiven of your sins. If not, don't wait. Today is a perfect day to ask the Lord into your heart to forgive you of your sins. song for today and I absolutely love playing out of the Redback Hymnal. Now for next week here's your challenge. I want you to send me your favorite requests out of the church hymnal and uh, I'll, let's see what we come up with for next week but this is one of my absolute favorites to play. It's a lot of fun. Everybody will be happy over there.
Thank you.